Hey guys, Draggy here and welcome back to Skyrim Dragon King Daily. Last episode we went to the wedding, we killed Victoria Fiji and we left off right here killing this guy, Gaius Morrow. We killed him pretty poorly actually. I wanted to do it sneaky but that didn't really work out. We got caught twice, we got twice we got caught at the wedding and we got caught killing this guy, but we are the Thane and I paid off my bounty in solitude, so we are good to go. And a lot of people got mad, or some people got mad at me, because I failed so much at the assassination, the wedding assassination, that I didn't get my bonus. But you know guys, if you have a good look at my channel and you see my channel description, you have a little phrase at the top and it says OCD not MLG. So guys, I'm not really good at, yeah playing well I'm good at playing games but you know I'm not a pro player and I can uh, instead of that I can actually uh, spend a pretty good time of making my character or making it look good making stuff look good on different games you know what I mean and by the way I figured out what that is floating in the water a skeleton I don't know what it's doing there but whatever it's there so we killed Gaius Maro last time, or Gaius Maro, whatever. So I must kill Gaius Maro, which I did. An agent of the Emperor's security force. Once he's dead, I must plant a letter on his body that will incriminate him in a plot to kill the Emperor. If I wish to earn a bonus, I must kill him. I must not kill him in Dragon's Dragon Bridge or on the road, but in one of the cities he visits. So we did that. So I killed him in Wide Run. So we should get a bonus. And now we have to report back to Gabriella. So we are just going to fast travel back to the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary, I believe. And speak to Gabriella again. So that's going to be good. Hopefully we get an get a cool bonus. I don't know what the bonus was. I think she said it, but I forgot. So we'll see what it is. Oh my god, still level 50. Now leveling up is pretty hard. Doesn't go as quickly as uh as before. But that's logical. <laughs> so yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. How are you guys doing today, by the way? Hopefully you guys are having a wonderful day. I sure hope so. Combat-based magic only improves when used against valid opponents. I know. I know. There we go. Took me a little while to load. But we are here. And another loading screen. Here we go. Jeez. The loading screens. You gotta love them if you're playing Skyrim. You got to love them. Or actually, you just gotta accept that they're there. You don't have to love them. <laughs> but by the way, guys, I'm getting uh, I'm getting a little bit sick again. I'm under the weather, as usual. <laughs> oh my god, I'm always sick. But it's all good. Just a little bit of a stuffy nose and a stuffy throat as well, so... <laughs> if you hear me sniffing, you guys know what it is. Hey, Gabriella. Ah, oh, at last. I've been anxiously awaiting your return. Uh, Gaius Morrow is dead. Yes, I know. As does Astrid. You have done well and have earned both your reward and a bonus. Yay! Mentioned. Oh, Lava token. you know we have a more pressing matter to deal with. Uh. It's... Cicero, there's been an incident. You should proceed really? into the sanctuary. I'll let Astrid explain. Uh, Cicero, huh? Receive a reading from Olava the Feeble. Or the Fable. So we got a token. That's interesting. Ah, yes, it was something about our future, I believe. So where is this thing? Is it schedule? Is it miscellaneous? Hmm, let's uh, see if we can find it. I still have some dragon skills on me. Uh, here we go. Olava's token. It's just a sapphire, flawless sapphire, I believe. But we have to go to her if we want to uh, get a reading off of her. But apparently, like Gabriella said, there's been an incident with Cicero. So we are going to check out what he's up to. Let the elixir do its work. What the hell? Feel better shortly. What's going on with Fazira? Ah, thank you, dear. You are most kind. The jester's cut feels as bad as it looks. I'm Did afraid. he stab him? Damn it! This never should have happened. We knew better. 
We knew better, and still we let our guards down. Ugh. What? I'll admit, even I'm having a hard time disagreeing with you. Marrow is dead, I know. But we've got bigger problems right now. What's up? Gabriella mentioned something about Cicero. The fool went absolutely berserk. He wounded Vizara, tried to kill me, and then he fled. Really? He knew that lunatic couldn't be trusted. Oh, it's true, I'm afraid. Cicero was a little whirlwind, slashing this way and that. <laughs> it would have been funny if he weren't trying to murder us all. Don't forget the ranting and raving about the Night Mother, how she was the true leader of the Dark Brotherhood, and Astrid was just a pretender. Huh. Look, we've got to deal with this situation. You've got to deal with this situation. Why do I? What do you want me to do? I want you to find that miserable little fool and end his life. But first, find my husband. Make sure he's all right. Where's your husband then? After the attack, Onbjorn flew into a rage. When Cicero left, Onbjorn went after him. Oh, he went after him. They disappeared into the wild. That's strange. Search Cicero's room. Maybe there's something <coughs> in there that sheds some light on where he might have gone. Let me know the minute you find something. I've got to see to Vizara and calm everyone down. All right, I will check out his room. Who's the fool now? Hmm? All right. So Cicero went berserk and tried to kill, try to kill people. So now he has to pay, I guess, and he fled somewhere. Cicero's journal, final volume. Interesting. Let's take that. Anything else in here? Oh, there are some more volumes. Volume 4. Interesting. I will take these journals. Volume 3. Any more volumes? Volume 2. And is this volume 1? It is. So we have a full collection of Cicero's journals. Nice. Anything else? Uh, doesn't really seem like anything important. Nah, we're good. We are good. Good to go. Alright, Astrid, I found his final volume. Hello, Night Mother. God, this is not where I want to go. This is not the way. This is the way. Alright, Astrid, I found something. Have you found something? Yes, that's what I just said. <laughs> yes, this was journal. Good, good. Does it say where he may be headed? Yes, an abandoned sanctuary in Dawnstar, apparently. <laughs> I have the passphrase. The Dawnstar Sanctuary? Whatever for. Never mind, it doesn't matter. You need to leave. Now. Every moment counts. So I want you to take my horse. His name is Shadowmere. Wow. You'll find him outside by the pool. I've Let's heard of this horse. He's one of us. <laughs> Make sure my husband's all right, and then send the well, crystal twisted little soul to the void. You might not be needed anymore. As possible. I'm sorry, Cicero. Or, uh, gee, Cicero, Crystal, I mean. Uh, did sets uh, blah blah blah. What do we know? Is there anything to work this out? Nope. I took that prancing fool into my home. All right, this Astrid. Is how he repays me. I want Shadowmere. Holy crap. Let's see where he is. Oh my god, so Crystal won't be needed anymore. That's interesting. <laughs> so yeah. So let's see if Shadowmere is waiting outside for us. Hopefully he is. That would be so cool. Oh my god, Shadowmere. Hello, Crystal. You are... Uh, going to be replaced I think Wow Do you guys hear? Damn Look at him or her whatever it is Behold Shadowmere there it is Locate and and Arnbjorn Oh it's a little bit glitching <laughs> Nice Oh Shadowmere has the armor on that's nice and there goes Crystal. Bye, Crystal. 
Oh my god, look at Shadowmere and his and his new armor. That looks so cool. We might have to I might have to change um, his armor up a little bit just to match him a little bit better. I will see what we'll do, but now we have Shadowmere. Holy crap, that's so cool. I like that. So we have to go to the Dawnstar Sanctuary. And we had just been to Dawnstar. Or we have only been to Dawnstar and not the Dawnstar Sanctuary. So we have to take a little walk, but I don't think it's that far because it's right in Dawnstar. So we should be good. Oh my god, I'm so excited about Shadowmere. Jeez. I've never had Shadowmere on any Skyrim character I've played as. Or I've played with. So that's exciting. I like it a lot. <laughs> Alright, here we go. On Shadowmere. Majestic as ever. Oh, wrong way. So, yeah, it doesn't seem like the Dawnstar Sanctuary is far away. So that's always a good thing. Hello, people of Dawnstar. Don't mind my awesome horse. Just uh, running around. What did you say? Uh oh, dragon. Dragon, get off. Alright, epic dragon fight before we go into the sanctuary. Let's go. Get your ass down here. Missed. Where's he going? Where the hell is he going? Where is he? There he is. Why don't you come down here? Oh my god, I don't want to go after him. There we go. Ancient dragon. Oh, my voice just cracked. <clears throat> oh my god, this is one of the strongest dragons I've ever seen. Wow! We got owned. Holy crap, we got owned. What? I did not expect that. We had enough health. He just one shot half our health. What the hell? That was weird. I have fought an Asian dragon before and I've taken it on very, very easily. Or very easily, but easily but this one just wrecked us and now we're back at the normal dark border sanctuary interesting wow why why are we back here not in dawnstar I, I thought it auto saved when you fast travel maybe it doesn't <laughs> maybe I uh, I disabled that or that just doesn't happen I don't know but man I'm a little bit uh, confused why I died there <clears throat> and I'm losing my voice again oh my god but guys I'm prepared water bottle engage <laughs> oh, oh man voice cracked jeez my voice so I don't think the dragon is coming back and if it is it's going to get a big ponding <laughs> he's going to die oh man it's the episode of the voice cracks might be because I just woken up as well so my my throat is a little bit stuffy like I said and I'm getting ill what the hell? Silas. Uh, what happened? Is it a dragon? It is. Alright, he's back. Oh, this is a normal dragon. <laughs> so there is still a dragon, but a lower tier one. You've already lost? What the hell? What are you saying? Am I getting attacked? What the hell? What the hell is going on? Ooh, I slayed that dragon. 
Oh, I disintegrated him. Who are you, Silas? And here comes my first visitor. The Museum of the Mythic Dawn is open, friend. Oh, really? Museum of the Mythic Dawn? Yes. My collection of artifacts from a group that toppled an empire. Why don't you come in? You can browse the displays and we can talk. I have a job you look perfect for. Hmm. Sounds good. Let's talk inside. Alright, but I'm busy at the moment. I wanted to search this dragon. Where did it die? Right here. <laughs> Didn't I get his dragon soul? That sucks. Oh well. That was interesting. This dragon was much easier to kill. Luckily. So how do we get to the sanctuary then? I don't know. Is it up here or down? Uh, oh, there we go. Dragon's all absorbed. I didn't even get any music or something. Oh, what the hell? Arnbjorn, how is it going? I figured Astrid would send you. Uh, you're hurt. Uh, what gave it away? <laughs> what the hell? Are you going crazy? Yeah, gotta admit that little jester's good with that butter knife. But don't worry, I gave as good as I got. Uh, where's Cicero now? In there, through the door. Some old sanctuary by the looks of it. I would have followed him, but I don't know the phrase. Uh, I know the phrase. I'll get Cicero, you go home. Alright, you convinced me. Doubt I'd be much oh, man. anyway. I'm so stuffy in my nose and my throat. Deep. But I slashed him good. Pretty sure I severed an artery. Don't know what you're gonna find in there. But you can probably just follow the blood. Alright, I will do that. Alright, door. What is life's greatest illusion? Interesting. <clears throat> I don't know. I think innocence, because that's always the first one. So, innocence, my brother. Welcome. I guessed it right. Creepy ass door. Hate those doors. But apparently Cicero is uh, being cut up pretty badly by Arnbjorn, but Arnbjorn is pretty hurt as well. So Arnbjorn is going back to the sanctuary, back to Astrid, and we are going to follow the blood trail which Cicero left. So, interesting. I don't know what we're going to find in here, but we'll have to see. Kill Cicero! Oh, I will turn. What the hell? Oh, I knew you'd come. Send the best to defeat the best. Astrid knew her stupid wolf couldn't slay. Slay Cicero. What the hell? Why is he speaking so loud? Ooh, here are his boots and his clothes. I will take them all. Those are worth really. Those are worth a lot. <coughs> <clears throat> oh man, my voice, it's so bad. Sorry guys. Hmm, now where did you go? Oh, here's some people. Oh, some ghosts. Oh, stupid Cicero. Why would you, you scream? <laughs> Sanctuary Guardian, huh? No match for me. Jeez, Cic whenever Cicero talks, he scares the crap out of me. Oh, can't search him. Hmm. Interesting. That's quick save. So I guess we have to slay a couple of these guardians before we find Cicero. There is a guardian. Let them come over here. There we go. What the hell is he on about? Run! Gee, Cicero is really crazy. He's mentally ill. So let's roll. Oh, some potions. Any more guardians? Yep, there are. Oh, there are two, huh? 
What the hell happened? Did I do that? Oh, I think I did. I tripped a wire. Well, they're going to die. Maybe not fully, but now he is. Now he's dead. All right, Cicero, where are you? You're still alive. I am. Respects the listeners' abilities, of course, but could you at least slow down a bit? No. <laughs> not what I used to be. <laughs> you are going to die, my friend. What the hell? How did you detect me? Dude, I'm a master sneaker. Oh, I'm still getting attacked. Die! Feel the power of the war axe. So which way should we go? Ah, apparently down here. <coughs> so that's quick save. I can't open it. The door is barred. Ah, uh -huh. so I guess we have to go through a uh, through the bur ugh, to the broken glass. <coughs> oh man, my voice is so bad right now. Now where do I go? I don't think. <coughs> Wait, what? Ah, right here. Interesting. Alright! So Cicero attacked that harlot Astrid. But what's a fool to do when his mother is snapped? Oh, what? This troll has a name. Surely the listener understands. Utterfricked. I'll take your troll vet. Cicero, shut up. <clears throat> do we go down here? Hmm. There's a chest with some gold. <coughs> hmm. I think we have to. <coughs> oh man, guys, I apologize. Jeez. My voice or my throat is just so stuffy. Now, Cicero, I found you, I think. Maybe. Hmm, I think I'm getting close to this little guy. Stupid. No, don't see me. Do I have invisibility potions? I don't think I have. Crap. I need to make some more if I know how. Uh, do I have any? I don't think I have. That sucks. So I might be spotted by these guys. Maybe or maybe not. Yeah, here we go. Don't see me. Alright, I've been detected. Oh man, they are strong. We need a potion. Uh, let's see. Extreme healing. That should do. There we go. No match. Well, I'm not. Maybe we could just forget about this. Another one. You just walk by, guys. Where the hell are you? And now we come to the end of our play. There he is. Run. <laughs> you caught me. I surrender.
Hmm. There's only one cure for your madness, Cicero. Me. Oh, <laughs> I like that. Very good. Very good. <laughs> A creative. Ah, thank you. <laughs> Thought about it. But killing me would be a mistake. Oh yes, you would displease our mother. Hmm? Why would I? For she's your mother too, isn't she? Listener, walk away. Let poor Cicero live. Tell the pretender Astrid that you did the job. Stabbed, strangled, drowned poor Cicero. Oh no, you are uh, going to die, my friend. You deserved it. Kill Cicero or leave the sanctuary. Well, here you go, Cicero. The last blow. Oh, you're not dead? Now you are. Bye, Cicero. Your life is over. Oh, Cicero's boots. Oh, look at those. Where is Muffled and Moves Silently? <coughs> oh, I like that. Ebony Dagger, 500 gold coins. I'll take it all. And a chest. Oh, nice. Soul Gem. Icy Spear, huh? Do I already know that? Now I do. Nice. Alright, so Cicero is dealt with. Jester is gone. So here's the barred door. <coughs> Alright. Let's get out of this creepy place. This old sanctuary. Uh, can I get through? I don't think I can. So how did I get up again? I don't want to alert any more of those nasty sanctuary sanctuary guards or guardians. So let's uh, sneak out of here quickly. I don't want to spend any more time down here. <clears throat> we have to tell Astrid that the poor fool is dead. Cicero has been dealt with for good. All right, here we are at the exit. See our weapons and open to Skyrim. <coughs> oh man, guys, again. <coughs> oh, one sec. I need to uh, take a little zip of my drink. <coughs> oh man, just some water in a plastic bottle. But, uh, like I said, guys, I apologize again for my stuffy throat and everything. But, uh, I want to play Skyrim. It's so much fun. And it's so much fun to record for you guys as well. So, Shadowmere, we, just for uh, time's sake, going to take a quick fast travel all the way down here to the Dark Brotherhood Sanctuary near Falkreath. And we have to talk to Astrid again. So let's see what she thinks about our done job. That we killed poor Cicero. But um, he deserved it. Oh man. Interesting storyline. Cicero was driving me crazy though with that voice in there. Jeez. Alright, here we are. Through the black door. Into the sanctuary. Oh, that's almost going to be it for this episode, guys. So let's quickly talk to Astrid. And uh, see what she has to say. And I think after that we are going to end it for today. For this episode. So let's quickly go to Astrid. Oops. Meant to press the W button and not Q. Alright, Astrid. Onbjorn is safe, and for that you have my thanks. But what of the fool? Is Cicero dead? Yes. Cicero is dead. Excellent. 
Once again, you've proven yourself a born assassin. Well, thank you. Tell you what. Why don't you hold on to Shadow Mere a while longer? He's a fine Ooh, thank you. steed. I was expecting that, though. As much but as thank lately. you. And now that this Cicero mess has been mopped up, we can get back to the matter at hand, hmm? Yes, we can. Right, so what's my next next task? There's just one more target before we strike out at the Emperor. Have you by chance heard of the Gourmet? The Gourmet, Red huh? His cookbook? It's become quite a phenomenon. The Gourmet is scheduled to cook for the Emperor at a special dinner. You'll kill him, steal his writ of passage, and assume the role of Master Chef. <laughs> Festus has been spearheading this part of the assassination plan. He's close to uncovering the identity of the Gourmet. You should report to him. Okay. So the Gourmet is an unidentified person. Nobody knows who, who knows who, right the, who the Gourmet is. Recipe for disaster. So we have to talk to, to Festus Cracks, but we will do it in the next episode, guys. Like I said, Brother. it's been... Uh, we're at the time limit, which I uh, like to, uh, which okay. I like to keep on. Shut up, Astrid. But I'm rambling here, guys. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this episode of Skyrim Dragon Daily. My name is Draggy, and take care.